What's up, fishing friends? Mr. Bass here with the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Bass Box $29.99. And they say it's a $40 value. What do we got in here this month? Let's take a look. The old What's Inside card. If you want to know, that's it. That's what's in the box this month. Video over. No, there is a tank crossing sticker kind of cool the usual dibble tips and tricks they have an article in here about bad fishing and bad weather but let's go ahead and dig into the baits first up is the lucky john flat crank 60 d r f this is a flat sided crankbait. It has a tight wobble. And on their website, they say that uh, this tight wobbling cold water crankbait is best for water temps below 55 degrees. Unfortunately, they do not tell you what they call this color. It's definitely a early springtime color. It's got uh, orange black back and then it kind of turns yellowish and then a kind of an orange or yellowy orange belly it has a pretty good size bill and it has a weight transfer system to help you cast it long distances as it says here five to nine feet of depth so it goes five to nine feet pretty good looking crankbait and apparently this is a mystery tackle box exclusive a Guggen squad square bill the banger this is sexy shad color it is three-eighths of an ounce dives two to five feet we've got the weston stick worm it's a five inch cinco knockoff and i call all stick baits cinco knockoffs because gary yamamoto was the first to invent a stick worm so what is special about the weston worm we got to break this open because for six dollars you get five worms but they claim this thing is super special because it has a V shape to it. It gives it a different action in the water because of this V shape. So I wanted to look at that. It also has two thick middle sections for O-rings. I don't know how well you can see that, but you got a skinny part, then it gets a little fat, then it goes into the Kind of the uh, egg sac area and then another little fat piece here and then it goes and tapers down so they've got this V shaped to it with two fat areas to hold your o-ring in place it also has a big slit in the top and in the bottom for your hook black and blue and it has some worm scent in it so I've never fished with the Weston stickworm. Don't know how it compares to your normal Cinco, but they're throwing a lot of things on this thing uh, to make it appear like this is a better than anything Cinco, and who knows, it might be. Next is a 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug. Of course, this is a Carl's Bates lure. They say that this is made for Ned rigs. It's two and a half inches long ultra durable high buoyancy which means it floats really well and it's got stretch x plastic which is like a last tech it's like the same material that z-man trds are made out of so they're claiming this is a ned rig bait and of course the last tech stretch x is very durable you're going to be able to catch a ton of fish on this thing it's a pretty good looking, come on focus, 
It's a pretty good looking bait. It's got ribs on it. It's a laminate, two, two colors. It's got a little bit of claw action going on there. Come on, focus. They claim this is worth $5.29. This color is called Blue Craw. Looks pretty good. I really like Ned Rig baits. I'm a big Ned Rig fisherman, so who knows? We shall see the Sakoshi Bug. Savage Gear 4D Craw, three inch version. It is scented. This color is Magic Craw, and it floats. It's infused with a bunch of smelly scent. Looks like a pretty decent craw. It's a very lifelike looking. Looks very real. And in the package, they even include a free sticker. Don't know what the sticker looks like. I'm not going to open it to find out. Next, we have another catch co bait. This is called the Tightrope Baby Firework Super Jig. How about that? $4.29. It's a quarter ounce with a hand tied skirt, two watt hook with a green pumpkin blue skirt. And we'll take it out of the package so you can see it a little closer. Hardcore Chicago anglers J.P. Hay and Ryan Whitaker created a compact jig with broad shoulders and a love for the rocky bottom. It seems like everybody is getting into these finesse compact jigs lately. I don't know why there's such a craze for them right now. And this looks like a great jig. And of course, any of these finesse jigs are going to catch fish. They're going to work great. But quite frankly, I doubt that this is any more magical than any finesse jig out there. Could be wrong. It definitely looks great. So that is the Tightrope Baby Firework Jig. Now one of the things that they do in the uh, MTB boxes that I like is they usually put a card in here, like this one, that tells you either about a technique or a specific lure. And in this case, uh, this month, they've got a card in here for their tightrope jig. And uh, they tell you a little bit about the jig and the history of the jig and recommendations. They even show you four different retrieves that you could fish this jig on. And another smart thing that they do is they suggest taking the old Ned Rig Sakoshi Craw and putting it on the back of your little tightrope jig as a trailer. Probably a good idea. It probably would look very good and work good. And then they give you some ideas of how to use the lures this month in the box together. Pretty good, pretty good plan on their part. Final thing is a 3 aught wide gap pack of spear point hooks. Two hooks in this package. And the spear point hooks are showing up in all of the monthly boxes lately. And I don't know if this spear point thing is legit or a gimmick. If you've used it and you like it, I would like to know your opinion. Here's what I do know. Unless this is some super secret patent that cannot be copied. If there's really something to this spear point thing where they talk about there's this amazing V-grip that uses the laws of physics to help you increase your hookup ratio. If that's really true, every hook manufacturer on the planet is going to copy this. And that's your clue. If Mustad and Gamagatsu and Owner and uh, all the other hook manufacturers out there do not create some form of a hook that looks like this in the near future, then you know one of two things is going on. Either it's a complete gimmick or they've got a patent on it that can't be copied. Every company copies every other company in this business if they find something that's popular and that's going to work. All right, that is 
the MTB Pro Bass Box for this month. Hope that was helpful and enjoyable. If so, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and hit that notification bell to find when I will post my next video. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!